version. Going hot. Welcome. This is a new video, a video taken a few days after you have seen my update video. And today I want to speak a little bit about the new rangefinder that I purchased. If you watched my video, it is a Leica CRF 2000B. And a big reason for doing this video is partially because there is just no information on the internet regarding this rangefinder. And that's a problem that I find with a lot of European companies such as, for example, Sauer and Leica. You want to look at their product on the internet but you just simply can't find any information. So this is the Leica CRF 2000B. It comes in this neoprene type cover, I suppose, with a nice little clip and a latch at the back so you can secure it to your belt. Opening the little bag will reveal the Leica rangefinder. Nice little compact unit, but we'll get this back to this just now. First of all, I want to show you what this comes with. It is basically expected that it comes with some sort of a lanyard so you can carry it securely around your neck. You don't want to be dropping this expensive piece of equipment. Uh, another thing that you get is just a guarantee card and a test certificate which just proves that your rangefinder worked when it came from the factory. Another thing that you get with it is this little hefty book of instructions in multiple languages which also typically contains uh, the ballistic charts. This rangefinder has 12 ballistic inputs in metric and imperial units for different zero ranges including 100 meter, 200 meter and 300 meter and uh, those same distances but just in yards. The rangefinder is specced to roughly be able to range 2000 yards. However, the size of the target does affect how accurate it will range. The accuracy for this unit is approximately 1 meter or 1 yard up to 500 meter or 500 yards. Approximately 2 meters up to 1000 yards. And when you break that 1000 yard boundary, your error becomes roughly half a percent. Your range estimation with your rangefinder also uh, is better in cloudy days where you range towards a target that is perpendicular to you. Your range estimation decreases in accuracy during very sunny conditions and when you range towards something like a bush or a tree that's not very reflective. Now looking at the rangefinder itself and its features, um, like I said there's not a lot of information on the internet for this unit and the purpose of this video is just if someone else is interested in this unit which is still a relatively new unit on the market they can see this video and it'll help them decide on their rangefinder first of all it has a seven times magnification with a 24 millimeter objective the modern rangefinders tend to Con or move over to the seven times magnification where your older generation type rangefinders still stick to uh, six times magnification round about there. Your eyepiece is adjustable at the back for focus and this little uh, lens or rubber cap can flip over if you have glasses so it's just more comfortable against the eye when you have to range. Looking at the features of this rangefinder, it has a primary and a secondary button. The button that has the red marking on it indicates angle, which it only does up to 1200 yards, and it indicates temperature and barometric pressure, which is a really nice feature that I enjoy. According to my knowledge, however, it is only the B series of Leica rangefinders that have the temperature and barometric pressure.
pressure functionality. Your range button is the black button. You press it once to activate the range finder or turn it on and then you press again once you have acquired your target and then you can commence ranging. The range finder is equipped with a Duracell CR2 battery but it may differ depending what country you are on. I suppose they all the same. The battery is located in this housing which I normally just finger tighten but it does have a coin slot to be able to open it. Leica also claims that this rangefinder is waterproof up to a meter but it's not recommended that you go and put your rangefinder under water to test this. It is there for the emergency or the time that you maybe drop it and it just so happens to land in a puddle of water. Now another thing that I couldn't manage to see on the internet which was <laughs> Almost the deciding factor in whether I would buy this or not is whether this has a scan mode and luckily the answer is yes it does have a scan mode. If you have acquired your target you can activate your crosshair by pressing the black button and then if you hold it in your range will be updated every one second and this is typically useful for if you're trying to range an animal but he is walking away from you so that distance is changing constantly but you can constantly update your ranging distance which I really like about this rangefinder. Combined with the temperature and barometric pressure functions uh, which you can then plug into your ballistic calculator should give you a relatively accurate solution to get on target and make a successful impact. So hopefully this is going to help me to improve my shooting and to make more accurate impacts and therefore create better videos for you guys to enjoy. The maximum distance that I've managed to get so far with this particular unit is roughly 1.3 kilometers or uh, roughly 1,400 yards. Now this is not the limitation of the rangefinder itself but it's the maximum distance that I can find to range. This is ranging towards uh, the surface of a house or the roof structure and it performs flawlessly. Another thing that Leica recommends with their rangefinder is to wait roughly half an hour for the temperature and barometric sensor to acclimatize to your environment. So saying that it's basically meaning if you are in a hot or warm air-conditioned car and you climb out and the ambient temperature is much colder they want you to expose the rangefinder to those conditions so it can acclimatize uh, so you can get more accurate temperature and barometric pressure readings however I have found that it is relatively accurate off the bat and you should not necessarily see great variation in your readings. Okay guys, so this is it for the rangefinder. I think I covered most of it. Um, if I realize that I did forget something, I'll most probably just mention it on my Instagram account. If you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. It's at TL TLRS underscore SA. There you'll be updated quite regularly as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, hit that subscribe button, there will be more content to follow. Like I said, there are hunts coming up, there are shoots coming up, and it is a very exciting time to be tuned in here at the Long Range Shooter Headquarters. We also have load developments coming up, and I've got a bit of free time now, so I'm almost going to try and do this like a vlog. I'm going to try and upload regularly. It might not be daily, but it will be one or two, maybe three times a week. Um, so you've got nothing to lose.